So they're going to pin down for James. James comes up top, gets it. James on the drive, gets in the paint, layup, missed it. Wow. Clear foul on Tatum. This incident happened on the night of January 28, 2023. Now, after LeBron got down to his knees and absolutely went ballistic with that no call, the NBA referees released an official statement the very next day, saying that, like everyone else, referees make mistakes, and adding that this play will weigh heavily and cause sleepless nights for them. Now, the reason why I brought this thing up is that if the refs can acknowledge their mistake when LeBron is involved, why can't they do the same thing against Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors? I mean, it's not as complicated as rocket science to figure out that the NBA and its refs are continuously screwing the Warriors and rigging their games since the beginning of time. And the Clippers take a two games to one lead and win for the first time. Green with an improved diet and footwork. Curry fighting for it. Oh no! Oh, no. And Malai has a foul. Oh no! Oh. Instead of just a Spurs timeout, it's a loony rebound foul, and that'll be free throws. The other. He's everywhere. He's in his shirt. The step back dribble loses it moment. After review, Springer legally contests the shot and makes legal contact once the ball is released to the hand. Curry then overtly extends his right leg, trips Springer to the floor. The play has been overturned to an offensive foul, and the challenge is successful. As you saw in the previous clips, this is not an overnight thing. This phenomenon has been going on ever since the chef and the dubs flexed their guns and began dominating the league. Newsflash folks, the NBA absolutely hates Steph Curry and the Warriors. And the funny thing is, they're not even hiding it anymore. I mean, let's go back to the LeBron incident to show you guys what I'm talking about. So after the ref said, all right, that was our bad on social media, something big happened immediately after that. But see, despite how big it was, no one noticed until some Reddit user exposed it. See, after LeBron knelt, pleaded, and whined, his minions, uh, I mean, the refs, immediately apologized. And ever since that day, which was January 29th, 2023, the refs have bowed to their glorious king and clearly favored LeBron and the Lakers by jacking up their free throw attempts to crazy levels, making them the number one free throw shooting team by the end of last season. Yeah, Darvin Ham, LeBron is really whipping it out. Now, you may think that the reason behind this was that the Lakers were just more aggressive in attacking the paint as opposed to a jump shooting team like the Warriors who usually hang around beyond the arc. Well, here's a list of teams sorted out by their numbers of drives attempted per game, and weirdly enough, the Lakers were not in the top 5, top 10, top 15, not even in the top 20, but they're actually ranked 23rd in terms of drives per game. So again, how come a team who ranked outside of the top 20 when it comes to drives is rewarded with the most free throw attempts throughout the season? I mean, the math just doesn't add up. Anyway, the thing that has been going on with the refs and LeBron didn't stop there, because whether it's about the regular season or in the playoffs, these two forces were always on the same page, along with the NBA pulling the strings behind the scenes. And what's even crazier is that they love to pull the same trick while targeting the same team again and again. And the team that I'm referring to is none other than the Golden State Warriors. I mean, after their January 27th matchup where the Lakers were awarded with 43 free throw attempts, I checked out the last eight matchups between the Lakers and Warriors with LeBron playing, and here's what I found out. Out of the last eight matchups, LeBron and the Lakers won six of them, and when you take a look at the free throw disparity in each of those games, you'll see an emerging pattern that the refs love Lakers and LeBron, while, on the other hand, they blatantly despise Steph and the dubs. Now, if you think this is just coincidence, or I'm just bad-mouthing your glorious king or whatever, allow me to show you guys some concrete evidence so you can see the gross injustice that has been happening against the dubs, particularly with Steph Curry. So the following clips were taken in their matchup last February the 23rd. And as you can see here in this first play, Dinwiddie clearly clipped Steph on the follow-through, but no foul was called. 
here on this next one, Steph was actually already fouled by Reeves here when he put his hands on Curry back in an attempt to steal the ball. Then later on, he clipped him on the release as well like Dinwiddie, but once again, no foul was called on both occasions. Now lastly, Steph actually got fouled multiple times here, but the refs swallowed their whistles for some reason. First, Reeves clearly grabbed Steph as he was coming off the screen. Then, AD stretched out his arms the moment Steph crossed him up. Both occasions were clear hand check fouls, but because it happened to Steph, the refs just let it go. In that game, Steph had 32 points to lead the dubs, but the weird thing about it was that he only had two free throw attempts in the entire game, which is mind blowing. Meanwhile, D'Angelo Russell, a player who's not really attacking the lane that much, nor is nearly as aggressive as Steph, was actually rewarded with four free throw attempts and ended with just 18 points. But here's where it got super obvious. Even without their King James in that particular game, the refs tried to screw the Warriors once again by giving the Lakers seven more free throw attempts. But luckily, the game was already out of hand around mid-third quarter, so the free throw discrepancy didn't matter in the end, and never really had a direct impact on the outcome, as the dubs trashed the Lakers 128 to 110. Despite this though, you can see that the same pattern and behavior emerges, with or without LeBron playing. The refs are going to do their thing against Steph and the Warriors. But see, as much as the NBA and the refs are trying their best to put the dubs out of their misery, they can't stop their recent surge as they're rolling right now as of this video, winning 8 of their last 10 games. And what's funny is that Steph and the dubs are actually on top of LeBron right now, as they're a half game above the Lakers to claim the 9th spot in the West. Anyways, I really have no idea why the refs in the NBA hate Steph and the Warriors so much. I mean, there's no question that the NBA should have given Steph the same treatment they're currently giving to LeBron a long time ago. See, like LeBron, Steph has pushed the game forward by revolutionizing the game from the three-point arc and beyond. Literally every kid in every gym right now wants to shoot like Steph just like everybody wanted to be Mike back in the 90s, and this man made the NBA more exciting to watch, which in return gave the NBA more dough than it could ever handle. But despite all this, why does the NBA continue to sabotage Steph as if he never did anything for the game and for the league? I mean, are there other forces involved in this? Like Nike? Now be sure to let me know your thoughts on this by putting your comments below, and until then, see you in the next video.